Hi everyone, this is Pam from Pam's Treasures. I'm stopping in to do the second uh, challenge of the um, hashtag Can You Say Napkins collab that's being put on by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming and Susan at Susan Hiles Art and Joanne from Junk Journal Junk Journal Treasures. Um, they're the, the hosts of this collab. So go over and check them out too because they have some great, great videos. Um, this is the one I did last week and uh, it was a tr it was a journey. <laughs> I got the, the 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 sheet all done, the collage, and I decided to try to paint and highlight and sparkle it up a little bit. And I was not happy with the results. But what I did was then this morning I mod podged over it and the napkin just wrinkled up like crazy. So I'm like, okay, fine. Um, in the meantime, I had made a second one. It's a little bit different. It's not exactly the same as this one. Um, but um, used a lot of the same things in the same places. But this one I put, you can see, kind of like here, I painted that like a sparkly blue. Some sparkly blue on the parrot. And then back here, I did, on the lobster, I did copper. Just, you know, just a few little highlights, of some green in the, the pineapple there. But um, anyway, so what I did was, when I made the second one, I was like, okay, I'm just going to Mod Podge over this one. So I did. Well, both of them wrinkled, wrinkled all up. And I'm like, okay, I don't like this. So one thing I discovered that you can try is if your napkins wrinkle up on you, just take a piece of wax paper, put the wax side down, and just press them with a hot iron, just real quick. Just press them, and those wrinkles will disappear. Now, when you go to peel the wax paper off, be careful and just pull it off slowly. Uh, you might get a little tear here or there, but it'll come. The wax paper will come right off of your of your uh, thing that you're working on. So I just wanted to come on and show you um, that it all worked out. <laughs> so now I have two, and that's quite all right. So today I'm going to be doing um, two tags. Let me get my stuff up here. I'm going to be doing two tags, and I'm going to do one with this this fabric, this um, cheapers. This napkin, which has hearts all over it, kind of reminded me of like Valentine's Day. So we got that one, and then we got this one. These are napkins that I bought at the Dollar Tree probably oh, three years ago. And um, I just like the colors in them. They're kind of abstract. They're kind of artsy. So anyways, I already cut my tags out. <clears throat> they are, where's my little rat? I got everything buried here. <laughs> okay, my <clears throat> my cards are going to be my my tags are going to be three and a quarter by five and a half. So that would fit in a nice size journal pocket. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue this paper down. Is that folded over? Where's my glasses? Got to have my eyes on so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Yes, it is folded over. So we don't need that. Get those straightened out. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's finally sunshine here. It's beautiful. Cold, but very bright, which I love because sometimes doing videos, it it gets very dark, and it's like you don't know how dark it's going to be when you upload your video. Okay, so first we're going to do this. Oh, I was going to get some wax paper. I don't want to get this on my batting, but that's okay. I was looking for something to use as a white background, and I'm like, well, I got all this quilt batting laying around here. You know, scraps that have been cut off from quilts. 
And I thought, that's the perfect white. Okay, so we're going to do this. And we're going to put our background on. Let's see. How about we do it this way? Make it a little easier. I think I've got enough down here. I'm not real crazy about doing this with a glue stick. I might try the second one with my Fabri-Tac glue. I do like it. I'm spoiled. What can I say? Come on. Open up. Open up over here and slide down just a little if I can. Okay, I won't slide. <laughs> See, that's where I'm spoiled with the fabric tack because it slides really easy. Doesn't okay. Now we straight. Yes, we're straight. Let me trim this off real quick. Find my scissors. I think my scissors are getting dull. I'm going to have to have my husband uh, sharpen them for me. Tomorrow, my husband's going to look at, um, we, we sell antiques and collectibles also. I don't just do videos. Um, I quilt, I do videos, I do junk journals, and we also have an antiques and collectibles business. And tomorrow, we're heading up north. He has a gentleman who wants to maybe sell his tools, which is what my husband likes to sell is old old tools of any kind that are usable um, there's there are a lot of people who collect see how that glue is not it's not drying good I don't like it and so I said he says would you like to go with me and I said uh, where are you going and he told me and I'm like uh, yeah, because there are two, <clears throat> excuse me, big thrift stores in that town. And I said, yes, 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 I want to go. So I'm kind of excited about what kind of treasures I'll find tomorrow. And uh, we shall see. Okay. So now I'm going to put this beautiful... Take that off at the bottom. Flower here. I think we're going to do it like right there. Yeah, I was really feeling disappointed with the wrinkling in my napkins until I, I thought, well, you know, what's going to, it's, if it damages it, it damages it, you know, and uh, sometimes you just got to go with the flow. And I was really tickled that it took all the wrinkles out and didn't destroy my <laughs> collage. <laughs> oh. Okay. Come on. Don't wrinkle. Definitely going to the fabric tack on the next one here.
scraps, scraps everywhere. And this says, C'est magnifique. It's French. And I just thought that would look pretty with the flowers. So we're going to put that right there. If you don't know French, that means beautiful, magnificent. Okay. And I'm going to trim this off. Alrighty. And round off the corners down here. So we're gonna trim that off, huh? First. There we go. Hey, if we were perfect, our videos would be too short, wouldn't they? And I'll decide if I want to punch a hole and put a tie in later. But that's pretty. I like it. So that's one down. And now we'll do the other one. I found the glue. There it is. That's right, I was going to use the use my fabric tack glue. I should buy stock and fabric tack glue as much as I use. I'm an investor in glues, huh? Okay, let's see how that does. And turn this napkin over. Turn my card over. out of the way. Whew. If I made that tag any bigger, it wouldn't have worked. Huh. Okay. Oh, that's going to look so, 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 so cute. Loving it. Loving it. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do this so I can get this punch out of the way here. Let's 
see. Now, I've got the Eiffel Tower. Love these napkins. And we have flowers. And we have more flowers. I think I was going to put that one up here, wasn't I? I was going to put the tea bag under it so that it would show up good. Or I could leave that off and use my stamp. Hmm. This is a good question. Well, I can't tell you what. I could put it underneath here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I save all my t <laughs> my tea bags and let them dry out and empty the tea out of them. And I've got a whole bag full now because I do drink. Tea. I don't drink coffee. I drink tea. And uh, they're just. I don't know. I just. I like how the the effect that they give you. Oh, I guess I could get in camera here so you can see that I'm tearing this up a little bit. Okay, let's see, yeah, just a little bit more off of this side. I don't want to block out my Eiffel Tower. So we got this guy here. Let's get my Eiffel Tower up here. Let's just do it. <laughs> okay, we want this spot right there. So yeah, I'm really excited about going tomorrow. I'm hoping I can find some new things that I can use in my junk journals. And um, maybe a new music box or two. That's one thing I I sell them, but I also collect them. And uh, leave this up for just a second until I get this. Where's my other flower thing? Oh, there it is. I don't know. I fa music boxes have always fascinated me. You know, they're you look at this little metal wheel with these little bumps on it, and and the music comes out of it. It just, I don't know, it always fascinated me. I keep saying I'm going to make, sorry, I keep getting off screen, don't I? I'm going to start making my own music boxes, but yeah. In my spare time, which is like I don't have. There. Got this a little bit. See, that's what's nice about the fabric tack is it gives you a moment to move things around a little bit. And yeah, you get a little more on your fingers, but you know, I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> I might be showing my age, but um, when we were in elementary school, we used to take the, um, was it Elmer's, the Elmer's glue? And we'd put it on the palm of our hand and smooth it out. And then when it dried, we'd sit there and we'd peel it off like skin. And we'd all laugh. We thought that was the funniest thing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's put this guy over here on next. Oops, almost put it on upside down. What's wrong with you? Let's 
push it up a little bit. There we go. Now, put that on. And make sure I got it right side up. Yes, I do. Well, I kind of hid my <laughs> tea bag, didn't I? Oh well. That's sticking out a little bit. Now, what I was going to do. Now that's already sticking there, so I guess I'll just leave it there. I was going to put this love along with the pink rose. But, I came up with another idea. Just put a little bit more glue down for that. I don't know if anybody's ever watched, um, oh, what was the name of that movie with um, Meg Ryan and... Um, Kevin Klein, and she goes to Paris to rescue her boyfriend from his new girlfriend. Oh, French Kiss, that's what it was called, French Kiss. And she meets Kevin Klein, who says he's going to help her find her boyfriend and win him back, and then he ends up falling in love with her. And But anyway, she was afraid to fly. And I remember at the beginning of the movie when this all happened, and uh, she <laughs> she's trying to to not be afraid to fly, and um, so they give her a mantra. You know, you have to have a mantra to repeat when you start getting scared, right? And her well, hers was I I love Paris, I love Paris in the springtime, and uh, so when I saw these napkins, that's I thought of that movie, and I was like, I got to get these, okay. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I went through my stamps and I think I'm going to do this. I found a stamp that would go very well with, I wish this said, um, um, how do they say that in French? Amore instead of love, but that's okay. It can't all be French stuff. Okay, is that big enough? Yes. So here's what I'm going to do. i use a scrap piece of paper. And, oh great, now I lost my thing. Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, help me please. Okay. So what my stamp is, is Peppy Le Pew. <laughs> if you remember him from cartoons, that he was always trying to romance the cat that had the white stripe down her back from getting into paint, and he thought she was a, a skunk. So he's always trying to romance her. And, uh, okay, let me see if I can do this now. I used to do a lot of stamping and embossing years ago. And, uh, let's see if I can do this. Oh, please work, please work. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Okay, put that over there, put him back over here, okay, I'll bring you guys back down here, and I'll screw just a little bit of glue on, And 
I remember in the cartoons he would say, Les mieux, les peur. <laughs> oh. Those were the good old days. I don't have a lot of glue to peel off my fingers. <laughs> there. Okay, we'll save that for another rainy day. I think that's pretty darn cute myself. See what you think. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so there's my two. And uh, they're already starting to try to curl up from the glue. Now see, the Fabri-Tac one stays nice and flat. Isn't that interesting? It does not curl up the way the glue stick did. Huh. Anyways, those are my two for today, so thanks for stopping in, and I hope you had fun watching me be crazy, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you, and give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to go visit all the other girls in their um, videos on this, too, but it's hashtag can you say napkin, and we have one more week of it, and that'll be it, so... Take care, and we'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.